ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and today we will continue with the queen kunti prayers first canto of the shimad bhagavatam 8th chapter 26th verse and we will discuss four reasons why we are not happy four reasons of unhappiness four obstacles to happiness all right what queen kunti is telling here it's very interesting this is one of the most important verses which you will find in the entire body of vedic canon all right so stay tuned and if you have not watched the other videos in this playlist then please go and watch there are lots of videos around 50 videos i guess and if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know why they are not happy in life <coughs> okay so sb shivam bhagavatam 1.8.26 janmai shwarya shruti shrivi eda mana mada puman nevyarti adibhutam vai tomakinchana gocharam so this shloka says here queen kunti is addressing to lord krishna and yes before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and if you read this and you understand this he will definitely be there with you all right so the translation to this uh, verse goes as follows my lord your lordship can easily be approached but only by those who are materially exhausted my god what she's telling one who is on the path of material progress trying to improve himself with respectable parentage great opulence high education and bodily beauty cannot approach you with sincere feeling respectable parentage great opulence high education and bodily beauty cannot approach you with sincere feeling so she is telling as if if you do not have these things with you then you will be happy wow and the interesting thing is she is having all of this all these qualities she has she is having respectable parentage why because she is born in a great family and she has great opulence because she is in a big family i mean she is mother of yudhishthir maharaj who is the emperor of the entire universe because queen kunti is saying this after the kukshetra war is over okay remember that and she is also the wife of pandu i mean pandu was not there anymore then high education she was extremely learned and bodily beauty wow she was so beautiful but she is telling uh, people with these four things they cannot approach you with sincere feeling in fact it is said in the end tvam akinchana gocharam tvam means you means lord krishna akinchana gocharam means one who is approached easily by materially exhausted men which means when we have material problems that means we may not have all these four things then it is very easy for us to approach god but she is telling that if you have all these things then there's a problem because then you are so much puffed up inside that you do not feel the need to go to god all right so let's go to the purport being materially advanced means taking birth in an aristocratic family and possessing great wealth and education and attractive personal beauty these three things all materialistic men are mad after possessing all these material opulences and this is known as the advancement of material civilization so generally we'll see that whenever somebody gets a job or a good job then everybody says oh yes 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 you are progressing in life if they marry somebody who is extremely beautiful or they become extremely beautiful then they will say wow you are so lucky you have such a beautiful partner you see or you are so beautiful you are so you are so lucky you know 
and yes if you are very 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 highly educated or you are born in a family where people are like super duper rich or they are very famous or they are in some authority position then naturally they say that you are progressing in life otherwise if you are not having a job or if you don't get married sometimes people keep saying this oh you know that that person is not progressing in life look at look at his friends or her friends they they have surpassed him or her yes they they keep saying all this either professionally or uh, in their personal life so that's the measure of advancement of material civilization there are so many millions of dollars which many countries and people especially they spend on beauty products they try to artificially show to the entire universe that how beautiful they look when inside they know that it's all makeup but they have to pretend they keep that outward show because otherwise people will say that there's something missing in you but the result is that by possessing all these material assets one becomes artificially puffed up intoxicated by such temporary possessions so the problem is if you go to a man who is very rich and he is like having everything in life all right or the person who is very beautiful and you tell them that hey listen you know there's this god will you go and <laughs> worship him or will you chant these mantras will you read these scriptures then that person will say oh why do i need god throw him out of your life throw him out of my life throw him out of everybody's life there is no god god is not required those of famous person once i will not tell the name he once said that god is dead all right god is not needed and this happens because when you have these four things big family or wealth or education or beauty then we we get a lot of recognition in the society we get lot of praises from the from uh, other people yes so somebody is very beautiful then they will have members of the opposite sex running behind them all the time so then they think that they are like god which means everybody is behind them and they are like providers okay i will provide them that's what they think so they think that they are so high that they never need god that they can they can never ever feel the need for anything higher in life so what happens is when this is there when they feel like this then they deprive themselves of higher spiritual happiness which comes beyond uh, these material objects but these four things they captivate the mind so strongly that the mind feels what is the need of all this you know god and spirituality anybody who is having these four opulences just go and try to speak about spirituality to that person you will see that person is least interested and on the other hand tom makinchana gocharam one who is not having any of these they can very easily understand spiritual things because they have seen suffering they have seen misery they have seen sorrow then they think that oh i don't have anything in this world i don't have anybody in this world maybe there is god maybe there is somebody higher yes consequently such materially puffed up persons are incapable of uttering the holy name of the lord by addressing him feelingly o govinda o krishna that's what i said they are least interested in spiritual life in the materialistic society people will have this parties they will have this wine and dine where you will see the people are going ladies especially they will dress themselves they will apply 10 times more makeup they will expose their skin men will dress in a way as if you know, they are like wow they will go in a suit which is maybe uh, so many hundreds and thousands of dollars sometimes they will they will behave they will talk they will act very smart and then other ladies will get attracted to them yes for some time then they will go and uh, try to talk with them flirt with them these things go on it is said in the shastras that by once 
uttering the name of the lord the sinner gets rid of a quantity of sins that he is unable to commit such is the power of uttering the holy name of the lord there is not the least exaggeration in this statement actually the lord's holy name has such powerful potency but there is a quality to such utterances also it depends on the quality of feeling a helpless man can feelingly utter the holy name of the lord where else a man who utters the same holy name in great material satisfaction cannot be so sincere a materially puffed up person may utter the holy name of the lord occasionally but he is incapable of uttering the name in quality so basically it's said here that when we chant chant the name of god once go in the krishna then the amount of sins that we can ever commit in future which is like infinite because we can commit any number of sins in this life and in the next but when we chant the name of god once only not 100 times not 1000 not million times not 108 times in a mala in a mantra just once if we chant it sincerely with quality with heart then what happens we can get rid of those sins also combined which we cannot even commit so the name of god is so powerful the holy name but when people have these four things in life then they may sometimes utter if you go go to many different places in india you will find they are saying the name oh ram oh krishna oh this oh that but then there is no spiritual progress why because they are just doing it artificially that's what is been mentioned here the quality is not there all right and when that happens you cannot progress spiritually because you will always have in the back of the mind oh yes yes yes, yes you know that uh, that girl is messaging me that man is messaging me yes yes, yes he is behind me she is behind me 10 people have given me marriage proposals 20 people have given me marriage proposals still i am great you know that is and that's so funny sometimes i talk to people and they tell me that oh i am unable to find uh, a, a marriage partner and then i'm like why because sometimes i see that they get very nice proposals but then they'll say oh this person is not looking good this person is not earning in six digits six digits i mean in dollars okay not in indian rupees india in india mm, there are many people who earn i mean obviously in six digits some people don't but uh, if you are earning six digits in dollars it's a big amount so there are many people who will say that oh that person is not earning in six digits so i will not marry that person oh that person is not looking that appealing you know so why should i marry that person or oh, that person doesn't belong to a very rich family they do not have lot of land or home and all these things you know oh that person doesn't have a masters degree from uk or from us or from australia or from germany so i will not marry that person now why do people make such foolish statements because they think that they have all this and that is why they are so great there was there was a lady once who uh, was asking me what kind of a husband will she end up getting by she asked me can you see my house open say then i said yeah these things should be there and he should look well good decent and all then she, then she said that oh don't tell me about looks he will not look good as me i know that that's kind of obvious i understand tell me about money so this lady is so puffed up she thinks that that she is the most beautiful queen in the entire creation that there cannot be any man who looks as good at par with her she feels like she thinks like that all right so when these things are there we do not feel the need to go to god but the problem is one day there is something and then everything is shattered somebody you are walking in the streets and somebody throws acid into your face maybe you are very beautiful but your beauty will be finished in one day or you have an accident you get a cut here your beauty is finished yes or you are cooking sometimes it happens that oil falls on the skin 
all right then your skin is ruined completely or sometimes maybe there's some problem and your body parts they don't function that well or your body dwindles in the old age that naturally happens so eventually all of these things will be taken away from us and when we depend on all these four things then we deprive ourselves from looking to god from looking to spirituality that is what happens that's what is the root cause of our suffering therefore the four principles of material advancement namely high parentage good wealth high education and attractive beauty are so to speak disqualifications for progress on the path of spiritual advancement the material covering of the pure spirit soul is an external feature as much as fever is an external feature of the unhealthy body the general process is to decrease the degree of the fever and not aggravate it by maltreatment sometimes it is seen that spiritually advanced persons become materially impoverished this is no discouragement on the other hand such impoverishment is a good sign as much as the failure of falling off temperature is a good sign for fever i mean this uh, the principle of life should be to decrease the degree of material intoxication which which leads one to be more and more illusioned about the aim of life grossly illusioned persons are quite unfit for entrance into the kingdom of god so the thrust of this video is that now suppose we have these four traits okay we look good we have great wealth we have great education we are born in a great family suppose great quote and quote great family so in that case it does not mean that we have to destroy our beauty we have to throw our degree certificates we have to go and uh, separate ourselves from the property or the will of our father or the grandfather will means when they write that after i do not live that this this these these people will get this this part of my property we do not have to do all this but we have to stop getting obsessed about it all right we have to understand that we are not all these things which means today i am wealthy but tomorrow there may be some scandal or something may happen that i lose all my money or i may contract some terrible disease because of which i am not able to work i am not able to earn money then everything will be finished all right and today i may be very beautiful i am young but after some days after some years that beauty will be gone now somebody may say oh we will do this surgery that surgery we will use this cosmetic that cosmetic whatever you do one day it will perish either ways you try to delay but that will happen one day so that's the point of the video that when we embark on our spiritual journey or life in general then when we become obsessed about all these things like oh look see i'm so well you know i have this iphone i have this macbook or i look so beautiful when these things happen then you have to understand that very soon we are going to be the most frustrated person alive in this universe why because in this world you will always find that there will always be somebody who will exceed you you will always find this so for example suppose there is a lady who looks the most beautiful but after some years there will be another lady who will uh, look the most beautiful now all right they will always overpower you suppose you are most intelligent then after some days some years some decades or some centuries somebody else might come and they may said that oh now he is the most intelligent person okay because when we are obsessed with all these things then we are always in a mood of competition and then what happens we perpetually try to maintain all those things like i know many uh, people especially ladies to maintain their weight artificially superficially they will not eat they will not eat dinner they will not eat breakfast they will eat only once in a day 
they're doing this there was once a girl i knew uh, she had her elder brother's wedding in uh, april 2017 and uh, from november not from november from july 2016 onwards she stopped eating anything she will just eat vegetables or she will just eat cucumber she will just eat carrots she is staying like this so then i asked her have you gone mad and then she said oh no no actually na wedding is there and then i'm like what will happen if you gain some weight or if you, what will happen if you do not lose some weight no no it's a wedding you know you will not understand it's a typical girl thing you know we want to look great in the weddings why because some somebody will be giving you some compliments wow you look so great you and after some days they'll forget you <laughs> all right okay so that's the point of this video that if you want to be happy we have to stop obsessing about all this all right otherwise we will be miserable that is the reason why we are unhappy okay there you go if you like this video click the thumbs up and please subscribe and if you want a consultation then please go to my website down in the description below all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye